la Smarabia du Mali. Ouais. Tout le monde ouais. aime ça. Ouais. Le jour qu'on apprendra que cet orchestre a ressuscité. Mais ça va être ouais. du tonnerre. There is no legend without stories. 1964, the Cold War threatens the entire world. Cuba maintained close relationships with the young African republics and invited the young musicians from Mali to get a proper musical training. When I was in the airport in Havana, I realized that I was really far away. I was almost at the end of the world. They were in their 20s, 10 young musicians coming from six different regions of Mali. This trip will change these 10 lives forever. At 21 years, Le cœur, ça, ça chante beaucoup, hein? On se croit dans un vrai, vrai paradis. The students embrace the Latino culture. They leave the dream in La Havana and decide to form their own band, the Mavillas de Mali. Success comes earlier than expected. C'était nouveau, ça pouvait pas passer inaperçu. Tu nous jouais comme un dieu. C'est Fatimata. They are up on stage with the best Cuban musicians, perform in front of party officials like Che Guevara and Fidel Castro. But a coup in the home country ends the band's dreams of fame and glory. Ils ont vraiment assassiné l'art et ça ne donnait pas envie à quelqu'un de rester au Mali. Quand tu es venu juste après le coup d'état, moi j'ai plié mes bagages, hein, je suis parti en Côte d'Ivoire. In 2000, Richard Minier, a French music producer, discovers this incredible story. During 15 years, he will multiply trips to Bamako and La Havana, filming many interviews of the band members and the Malian stars. Looking for the history of a band, he found the soul of Afro-Cuban music. In June 2017, Bokana Maiga, the last survivor of the band, invites the singer Mori Kente in the studio to make a new recording of the band's hit Rendezvous chez Fatimata. That new version of Fatimata will be the next single of Las Maravillas. In October, accompanied by Boncana, Richard Minier goes on the same trip from Bamako to La Havana. Nearly 50 years later, Maiga the Maestro, with an idea on his mind, comes back on the path of his past. If I have the opportunity, I'll go to Cuba to say thank you to the Cuban authorities. I would like to be the hand of how he is called Raoul Castro. Un grand souvenir, le fait de retrouver la Havane 40 ans après, 44 ans après, et surtout de retrouver nos amis musiciens. Nous étions ensemble hier, sûrement nous serons ensemble demain au studio également, que je n'ai pas revisité pratiquement depuis 1965 ou 66. In the Mythic Agum Studios, with Josh Pinto, the singer of Africando, and some Cuban musicians, the maestro revisits the original album and reforms his band. de Maravillas du Mali, c'est le premier concert à Cuba. Pas le premier concert de Maravillas du Mali, mais premier concert de Maravillas du Mali, deuxième génération. La renaissance de l'orchestre Maravillas du Mali. After her first concert in Cuba, Boncana Maiga will fulfill his dream, 50 years after the band's creation. Bring the Maravillas de Mali to play for the first time in Africa. <laughs>